Hello everyone. So I uh, decided to convert my freshwater tank in my living room to a salt water. I just, um, I've just had enough of it. I've been having too many issues. So yesterday I emptied it, cleaned it, and refilled it with two inches of sand, salt water. I ordered a new light. This is a freshwater light, so I'll be taking that off. But uh, other than that, this is going to be my third tank I have set up. I have my 10 gallon, which I also just bought a fish. So let me um, let me do a quick update on that. I'm gonna uh, get right back to you. One second. Yeah, the other guy didn't even come out. He's just up there. His head is poking out. Oh, he he's out now. Let's see if we can get this guy. Royal's peeking out a hole. Let's see if it goes down. Those six, that's not for you. Hmm. She royal? Yeah, I see. Oh, oh here oh. comes a piece. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Shrimp's like, I want that. Look at him. It. He sees it. Yep, he does. Here he goes. He he's, get look at, he's getting it. Oh, he got it. No way. He grabbed it. That was a big shrimp. And now he eat it already. Yeah. Man, that's quick. He sits there and eats it usually. So. You think he's supposed to holding it? Yeah, he already ate it. Nah. Yeah, that's gone. Is it? That's good. He's cool. Oh. So if he's... Oh, crap. What? Oh, this just came off. Fuck. What did you do? The little thing you fell off. Uh, I don't even know if I like these, because they're catching all the food. Oh. I'm down here. This here is the polyp, the uh, zoanthid. Been stirring it around. It's been soaking. And yes, I know you should wear gloves, but I'm not going to aim it at my face. Um, he's soaking for about five minutes. It's been in there a little longer. So I was to, the anemone is ready to go in, um, but <laughs> I need to get this glass off because uh, let me tell you, I am making a mess. Oh, what happened here? All right, it's making a mess here. I'm spilling everything, and now I gotta take my cover off, which is going to dump probably a ton of water. Hopefully, this catches it all right here. Okay. Yeah, I'm making a freaking mess. Alexa, stop. Okay. Just set this here. My cover gotta be clean. I'm actually doing a filter cleaning right now, so. Once I get the anemone in, he said to shut off all my pumps, which I'm going to do because I'm going to clean the canister filter and, and dig into that. And once again, this fucking thing is not on me. Why? I don't know why it keeps losing track of me. All right, looks like it got me that time. All right, so it will go in here. See, so I'll bring it a little closer. And there it is. Here, let me center it on the camera. We'll go even closer. Um, it just doesn't, there we go. That's it, right there. I put them in a hole in the rock, because the rock's pretty useless for the hole for anything. So I thought that was a good spot to put it. Um, I'm not sure if he can reach the bottom and, and lock itself in, but I hope he can. Um, I guess we're gonna find out. Hmm. I'll just keep this rolling and uh, we'll see what happens here. And hopefully he opens back up. I don't have, oh, you know, let's uh, get this back up there. I'll just leave it aimed at the tank. I'm not sure where to put it. Uh, I'm going to try and find a spot now in the tank to stick this in. And, and I do see a couple spots that might work. Um, there, look at that. It's right there. Oh, that's perfect. 
So I'm going to set it right there for now. Um, and hopefully that will work out. Literally using all my towels. Oh, okay. All right, so he's right there. You guys can see it. Let's see. It'll be right there. We'll zoom in a notch. There he is. Look at that. He's closed up. I will redo a video once he opens. They look like Fruit Loops. Uh, they're yellow. They're really cool looking. Uh, very pretty. Uh, it's my first coral for that and for the anemone. Um, I'm pretty excited. See how this all turns out. All right, so this is the day after I added my new coral. Here's my bubble anemone. Uh, he took very com a cozy spot here in my rock. I set him in there and he stayed. He planted himself, which is awesome. It's doing great. And last night it completely shriveled up to the size of like a quarter. Uh, they said they will do that occasionally. Um, also when they're new, they shrivel up a lot. But, but he's back out as soon as the light came out. Awesome. I'm so happy. And here is my Fruit Loop Zoanthid, which reopened as well. That was completely closed yesterday. Uh, and they're open. I'll do another shot tonight when it gets dark. And they all glow pretty cool. But these are my two first uh, corals in my tank. I actually don't know if the anemone is considered a coral. You guys can correct me on that. But look at it, it's all bubbled up. It's cool when my lights go into the sunset phase, you can actually watch it shrivel up and go down and it looks very different. And when you turn your lights on, it comes back up. I'm so happy right now. I've never had this any coral or anything, plants like that, base plants in my tank. Uh, my fish are doing good. I just fed them, so they're all like, went away. My shrimp is doing good. He's right here. I have my six lion rats and I have a new uh, royal grama, you know, a basilet fish. My first one died. Uh, he had salinity shock due to, that's what we're guessing. Uh, I didn't know when I bought him, but they just got him in the day before. They gave me another one for free, which was really cool. And uh, he actually is even prettier. Oh, here he is. He's even prettier and he's got like lipstick on looks like lipstick he's so cute but he's very pretty uh he seems to be doing good Let's see if i can get in there even closer there you go he's doing good this camera does not get the best shot of him but he's really pretty and my six line ras which his name is six is doing great and i named this guy here royal since he's a royal all right so things are going good here very happy. Oh, I did have one crab death. One of my blue-legged hermit crabs died. I don't know if it was lack of food, but um, I just left him in there. Something ate it. I'm not worried about it. As of right now, my tank has zero ammonia, zero nitrite, and the nitrate is under five. Phosphate is zero, uh, which is a little low. I actually want a little bit more. Uh, I just need to get my tank filled up with more living things to raise the phosphates up because it's just, there's not enough in it yet. It will get there. Any suggestions, comments, please let me know. And I will update you guys on my other tank that I started. Let's do this again. Sorry guys, I had to re-record this. Uh, I wanted to get a hawkfish, but I wanted a flame hawkfish. So I found one the other day in my local store which I was really surprised because all my other stores said they couldn't get one. So that's him. He's in a quarantine tank. He's a little nervous and scared. Um, I just got him. I'm not going to leave the light on. I just quickly turned it on to show you guys him. I will give you an update on him. But he's getting a little nervous with the light. So that's him there. He looks good. Um, hopefully he's okay. The fish store just got him in. Literally just got him in the other day. So uh, I waited 24 hours to get him because I didn't want to take him right away. I didn't want to stress the fish, but they probably would have sold him anyways. So anyways, I'll give you guys an update um, on him. 
as time goes. Here he is. Here's a better photo. He's right there. So he's cute. I know hawkfish don't swim much, but I, I really liked my hawkfish. They're, they're cool fish. And, uh, well, when I ever saw they had a red one, black outlines, I thought that was pretty awesome. So, anyways, this is my 10 gallon. I literally just set it up like six days ago, and it's already half, almost done cycled. Everything is cycled. It's, it's in great shape. I need to find the Coral Life 30 gallon with protein skimmer filter because I wanted something simple and uh, I don't know how that's a 30 gallon filter. There's very little water flow, but it's great for a 10 gallon or even probably a quarantine tank. It's all you need. It's an all in one. You can even put a filter inside of it, uh, which is pretty cool, which I'm still investigating that because the 100 watt heater is very small and I'm trying to see if it actually can heat up water appropriately. And they're also preset heaters, so you can't adjust them, which means, you know, you can't adjust it. But if it maintains 78 in the dot, I'm okay with that because it's a quarantine tank. But anyways, he's right there at the filter. He just got put in here a few hours ago. He's still very nervous, but uh, I'll update you.